Hi there, here we are on the Col Clara in Mallorca, which connects Esporis with Valdemosa. And it's the 11th of February, it's about 4 o'clock, it's uh, 14 degrees up here. The uh, sun's going down a bit, it was 20 degrees in Palma, so beautiful weather. I understand it's snowing in England, so hi to all the English viewers. Uh, this coal is about three and a half kilometers, about 5%, so it's a nice one, it's not too difficult. It's very quiet, as you can see. There's uh, no cyclists, no cars really. Occasionally you might see a cyclist, and you can tell if it's a local, because they'll be wearing full winter gear. <laughs> they, don't, they don't get the shorts out until about April. And in the distance there, I don't know if you can see Palma and the sea, but it's down there. Anyway, I just wanted to have a little moan about the availability of bikes and bike parts, because this bike here, the Ostro, I built it up uh, two months ago and had a nightmare trying to find all the parts, the Dura-Ace parts, uh, discs and everything basically even the wheels took a while to arrive um, and this is a situation which you know has been going on all of last year and I thought well you know they'll, they'll sort it out for 2021 but it's actually just got worse and I'm hearing stories of no derailleurs no crank sets and it's across the board whether it's Shimano, Shimano or SRAM or you know, full bikes as well you know you can see on some of the images I'm popping up here that there's just nothing around and uh, it's getting to the point where people may be able to may have to stop riding because they can't get chains or or brake pads things like that if they break a cassette which duo ace cassettes do break uh, you can't get one so yeah and how did we get in this position well uh, there's power behind again if you can see that um, well I know there's been COVID and I realized there's been a big jump in demand for, for bicycles and cycling generally. But I think this problem really arises from the fact that a lot of companies over the years, for a long time now actually, have adopted this kind of Japanese origin system of just in time, where they have a number of suppliers and when they're building stuff they expect the parts to be put in their hand just at the right moment and then they can ship it out the door. And that works great in good times. You don't have to hold stock. Um, you, you push a lot of the responsibility onto your suppliers and you can shout at them when it goes wrong and that's all great. But when it goes wrong, when there's a virus, for example, well, it could be an earthquake or war or a hurricane, flood, whatever, volcanic ash, all of these things will disrupt your supply lines. And in the days when interest rates were like, uh, you know, seven, eight percent. Yeah, it made sense not to keep stock. It cost you a lot of money. But now, interest rates are negative. So it's costing you to hold money. So it's kind of a no-brainer. I mean, you need to hold stock. Yeah, so basically, you know, it makes sense to hold a lot of stock because if you miss a sale because you didn't have that stock, it's gonna cost you far more than the little savings that you, that you made by not having stock. And I think also a lot of these companies need to rethink their supply lines because they push them all out to China and Taiwan. And now we've got shipping difficulties, we've got communication difficulties, the delays and everything. And yeah, they saved money doing that in the past, but now the savings have decreased and we've just seen abundantly clearly that uh, if you can make it locally, then you've got a massive advantage because you can um, control it a lot better and get things made a lot quicker. So it could be that there's a big change now and people are starting to think, well, actually, we need to make this stuff in Europe or in the States or whatever. So hopefully it'll go that way. And, you know, Shimano is supposed to be bringing out a new Dura-Ace and Ultegra uh, group set. It's massively delayed, of course, because they can't even supply the current one. And maybe they thought, well, we don't want to hold stock because we've got a new one coming out. Well, not really, because, uh, you know, people... There's loads of bikes out there with Dura-Ace 19, 9150 and the Ortega 8, whatever it is. They're gonna to need to be buying those parts for a long time yet. 
so they're going to sell them. And uh, yeah, I just think the virus is a catchable excuse for executives to say, uh, yeah, it wasn't us, it was the virus. But really, it's a massive lack of foresight and lack of planning. And they've had a year to try and sort it out and uh, they haven't been able to yet. So yeah, I don't know, maybe I'm being naive or something, but I think it could have been managed a lot better and hopefully they'll get it sorted out so we can actually all keep riding our bikes. So I will, I'm nearly at the top now. Uh, I don't know if you can hear my front disc brake rubbing. I might have to get out of the saddle to do that, which is hard with one hand. So my slightly warped, slightly rubbing front disc, <laughs> which, is, uh, which is great for my psychology. Uh, yeah, I'll see you at the top. <laughs>